Okay, so here, here I am. Service couple of boilers. Apparently this boiler is uh, locking out, so I'm having to reset it. So I'm gonna strip it down, turn it on, see what happens. And you come along for the ride. Okay, so let's do a quick overview of this boiler. It's uh, two solenoids, pilot tube, electronic ignition off a HT lead. So we're just gonna see, obviously it's gonna open this solenoid for the pilot. Yeah, the first solenoid on the way in. So let's see if it actually opens that. And the easy way to do that is isolate here, get on that test point there. So with pressure, so get on this test point, isolate that, when the boiler's running, see if this solenoid opens, we'll see the gas pressure drop. If that happens, we know the solenoid is opening and it's sending gas down the pilot tube. From there, we'll see what happens. On, got pressure. Off, holding pressure, so gas valve's not letting by. If that goes down when the boiler tries to light, Then, uh, then we know the solenoid's opening. So first things first, let's get this boiler to run using the controls. So we're ready to go. See if we can hear any sparking. Dropping. Near sparking. That's that is dropping. Okay, so we know that that opens because that's gone to zero. So turn that back on. I will LDF all of that later. I'm going to do all of this because that's all going to come out, isn't it? Isolate that, split that, gonna take all of this out for cleaning when we get it working. I did notice that when I moved that HT lead, the, the noise changed, so that's arcing out somewhere. Don't know where just yet, but I'll give it the old move about, you know. If it works like this, and it probably just needs a HT lead, you know, if I pull it away from all the metal. Another good thing to do is turn the light off. And the pilot is right down here. In there. Oh, here we go. Sparking. So the fact that we can hear it sparking. Oh, I thought it lit there. It may just be a dirty pilot. Let me get this apart cleaned and I will get this HT lead rerouted so it isn't all running across metal stuff. Um, I think I've done this previously and maybe someone's been here in the meantime because I wouldn't leave a HT lead like that. Anyway, let's get that all cleaned out and see what happens. I mean, look at it. Look at all that debris on it. With all that out of the way, we can have a look at the spark. We don't need gas for that. So we could, uh, you leave this off, 
we can leave that disconnected, that don't matter. We can just uh, see how it sparks, if it sparks, because it may be shorting out down there. Ooh, down there, where it goes onto the floor. So let's have a look at that, shall we? Obviously it just needs a sec, and obviously the spark is for a millisecond. So I may be able to see it, but this camera will not pick it up. I'll tell you if I can see it or not, and if it's consistent. But we may be able to pick it up somewhere else. I can't see the spark. I can hear it, I cannot see it. So it's definitely not happen happening down there. Yeah? No spark there. Let's move this about. Oh. Oh. Okay, so we're definitely arcing out somewhere on that HT lead. Simple as that. There we go, locked out again. So I just pulled the burners out. I've cleaned up uh, the electrode. I'm gonna clean the boiler. Yeah, it's hard to see with that electrode, it is clean. I know it looks, doesn't look clean on camera, it is. Um, obviously with this one here, you've got to disconnect the pilot. But it is ready to go. I'm gonna clean all of this out. And take the top plate off. Brush through the heat exchanger, hoover. Put it back together and we'll see if it works. Obviously, I am gonna do my best to reroute this HT lead. Uh, because it could be sparking anywhere here on any of this. And I'll, I'll, obviously I'll order one. It says drop in. Obviously I'll order one, but I just want to make sure I get the boiler running now to be 100%, yeah? I'm not just going to go, oh, it's a HT lead and walk away. Because if I do that and the pilot is blocked, although it doesn't appear to be, if I do that and the pilot's blocked, well, I'm not going to fix it when I come back. Okay, so I've got it all back together. Uh, I've re-supported this a different way. I'm not doing anything here yet. I want to see if it sparks now. So let's uh, turn the light off. This is a proper crusty one. I've checked all the seals though. Like they are all there intact. I've recommended a new appliance. Here we go. Sorted out, definitely. Against the burner, I guess. Wait for this to go to lock out. Can't hear any sparking, so it's properly sorted out. Okay, so what I've done, let me show you. I just pulled that wire all the way out. Yeah? So somewhere down there it's shorting. But as you can see now, It's sparking every time. That is just the cable. But I think it's just the pilot tube now is full of air. I think. We'll see. We will see. But obviously, I haven't done anything other than clean it and move this wire around. Oh, pilot. Oh, nearly. It had a pilot. Lit. Pilot tube a little. It's not rectifying. See, it's lit but not rectifying. The earths are good. I checked them. So the fact it's not rectifying means it needs a lead or a board. Locked out. Um, turn the gas back off. 
because I can't test the boiler to see if it's safe. Um, so I'm going to at risk it. But I just, let me get you wired here. So I was called here to service these two appliances, not to do a repair. So I am now going to get the company to bill this lot for trying to rectify the fault on this boiler and quote them for the repair. We're, I'm not doing a service and a repair for the same money. That's not how these things work. As all you guys know, people love to try that, but that's not happening here. So I'm going to at risk this boiler, tidy up and leave and tell them we, to fix this boiler is whatever it costs. I'm going to order three parts. Um, it's still trying to light now, uh, but the gas is off now, so no point. To fix this boiler is going to cost X, Y, and Z. I strongly recommend replacement here because there's a lot of problems. They've got a fan dilution system with no interlocks. Um, whole thing's Azzy. Look, that's Azzy behind me. Ceilings, Azzy. Flue dilution system um, is Azzy. No interlocks on that either. Okay, so the way I've worked this out is that's where our fan comes off. Um, here's our common, which just links around there into there. Yeah, which just then comes into there, which comes out of there, which is basically the permanent live that comes from this spur. So the live is just linked from this spur all the way through to the fan through this relay that is the contact. Unless there's any power absorption stuff there, then this has no interlock at all. So I'm gonna just quickly look at the manual for this um, and double check that so I don't phone gas safe like a numpty. So, I mean, it's terrible, really. So, yeah, we will see what happens here.